For those of you who are taking, listening, and speaking too, I'd like to spend a few minutes talking about this week's project. Our project for Unit 2 is going to be called Cultural Appreciation. So we're focusing on culture this week, and our project w should reflect some, some knowledge, some understanding of, of culture, and it's going to provide us an opportunity to compare two different countries. So your task this week will be to show appreciation for a country's culture. You can choose the country. You can choose the points of comparison or the aspects of culture that you want to include in your presentation. There are many things to, to discuss that you, you could include in your presentation. So we want to limit the number of points of comparison. Probably between two to four is um, maybe a good rule of thumb. If you need a few more, that's fine. Um, but make sure that you have certain points that you want to compare. And you want to choose one country that you are in favor of, one you have a preference for, and compare that culture with, let's say, another country. And again, with those points of comparison, find certain things that could be similar provide some information that is different in some way. Okay, try to include both things that they share in common and some aspects that they uh, that are different, but at the end of the day, you should have a preference for, uh, for one country over the next. Assume that you are a tour guide. Let's say you work at a travel agency, but you are um, preparing some ideas and a presentation as if you were a, a tour guide as you are persuading a, a couple, an adult couple from Mexico who want to experience a new culture. They want to take a vacation and they want to experience something different. They want to try, have some new experiences. Your job is going to be to present one country, compare it to another country, but at the end of the day, try to persuade them uh, that your country is as the most interesting aspects of, of culture. All right, so think of a situation where let's say you are, uh, you want to sell a vacation package and you are uh, going to need to have this presentation so that you need to present this information so that you can persuade them to take uh, this vacation package. Now, this particular uh, project does not require you to get quotes or, you know, even deal with prices or anything like this. The only aspect of this project for this week is the presentation of ideas, of cultural ideas, comparing and contrasting two different countries. Okay, so again, it's not necessary. In fact, I, I don't want you to uh, include prices or... Uh, anything of that nature. Think of your responsibility for this project as just as a tour guide, and you are in a position to uh, trying to present some ideas for uh, one particular country. All right, uh, the next aspect here, I'm going to explain now the performance, the different steps that I would follow to complete uh, this task or this project. This project has some there's some level of flexibility and and I'll try to make that clear other aspects of the project for this week are going to be very specific so let's begin with the first step try to find audios or videos okay audios could be in the form of a podcast videos of course youtube or even ted talk any video that you can find or audio that relates to the country we want to try to get all the information from some kind of audio or or uh, video and so try to find at least three audios or videos per person that relate to your country or the country that you are comparing to. Okay, so remember that you uh, are going to need to have two countries. We're going to be in partners. So you and your partner will be working on this together. And uh, I'll show those here in a minute on my screen. But each person should try to find at least three videos related to their country and the country that they're comparing to. Now you can decide with your partner which 
you know, country, of course, the, the, the other country that you're going to compare to, and of course, the cultural aspects and which videos, those are all decisions that you can make with your, your partner. All the information that you retrieve should be in the form of an audio or video, just to, to repeat. Please do not include any information from any website in text form. Try to stick only to information that we get from an audio or video. The next point, determine the points of comparison I mentioned earlier. So what aspects specifically do you want to compare and contrast? For example, maybe it's art. Maybe it has something related to food. Maybe it has something that's relevant to work or business. Maybe it's something related to social aspects. Okay, maybe it's something related to even churches, comparing churches or other monuments that are relevant to the history of the, of the, of the country. There are all, a lot of different aspects that you can compare and contrast, but the idea here is to choose anywhere, I would say, two to four points of comparison so that you're consistent in what you're looking at. If you're going to look at... Churches, you're going, to, you're going to compare the churches in one country with the churches from another, as, as an example. Uh, the next step, complete the Excel spreadsheet in Teams, and that the name of that spreadsheet is called Project 2. We'll talk about this in class, of course. I'll show you where that is, but uh, if you go into Teams for Week 8, you'll find an Excel spreadsheet that's called Project 2. So we will be completing that Excel spreadsheet, and we'll talk about that in class, but that's going to be where you list your name, that your countries. We're going to list the links to the videos or audios that you use to obtain the information for your project. The next step, analyze your cultural information and make sure to argue for one country over the other. So in your comparison, you're going to be sharing similarities and some differences, but at the end of the day, you need to choose, you need to be for one country. You need to be in favor of one country over the other. Again, your idea, the, the objective is to try to persuade a, a, a couple from Mexico to choose this one country for, for taking a vacation. All right, next step. Create a... Okay, the next step, create a five-minute video in Flipgrid. And in this video, this is going to be done individually. And I just want you to talk about what you have, your process. I'd like for each of you, in your own words, to describe your process that you followed, that you did, um, right up until the, the time that you record your final presentation. So this Flipgrid video is more of a reflection. Again, it's just you explaining the process. On Monday, we did this. We had a problem with this. We, this went really well for us. On Tuesday, we were able to do this, and we compared this, and we opened up a document here and put information here. That kind of, that's the kind of reflection that I'm after in the Flipgrid video. Again, this is a Flipgrid video that should be done individually. It's a reflection. It doesn't really require anything to write down. Just try to recall what you did throughout the entire process. And the Flipgrid video is something that should be completed at the end of your process. You're basically finished except for recording the final video, which is going to be the next step. So the next step here is to prepare an 8 to 10 minute presentation. Okay, so that is each person is going to speak anywhere from 4 to 5 minutes. If you have a team of 3, then the total amount of time will be increased to 12 to 15 minutes. But record yourselves in teams by sharing your screen and showing your faces. Now the way we're going to do our project for this week, it's going to be a little bit different. This Friday, and actually next Monday, but this Friday, we're going to start listening to your projects. So this week, we won't have a speaking practice per se. Our speaking practice actually will be our project. So we're going to need 
probably two days. I think two days we can finish uh, for for our projects here. And so we're going to begin on Friday with our projects on cultural appreciation with the criteria based everything based on everything that I'm speaking about here today. And we'll uh, also do the same on Monday, the following eight week. And we should be able to finish. If we need a third day, we'll, we'll take it. But I think we should be able to finish uh, within two days. Okay, the next point. Countries being argued for are not being oh, repeated by other classmates. All right, so one of the documents that we're going to be looking at, well, the Excel spreadsheet, in fact, the one I've already mentioned, uh, the purpose of having it all in one spreadsheet also is for us to be able to choose different countries. So when you're posting your country, make sure that your country has not been chosen by any of your other classmates. Now, I will say, since each team, it's, it's okay to repeat the country that you're comparing to. But the, the country that you're arguing for that should be a different country. Okay, so I think we have 16 teams. We should have 16 different countries that you're arguing for. But again, there's uh, no problem uh, comparing the country that you're arguing for with another country that has also been chosen by another, another team, if that makes sense. All right, so uh, it doesn't matter... We will talk about this in class, uh, and probably the easiest is for us, all of us to work together as we're uh, choosing our countries before we start this project so that we're all clear on the two, the two countries, and we haven't started any work until, we, until I give you really the green light uh, to begin after we see all the, the countries listed, uh, both the, the country that we're arguing for and the country that we're comparing to. Uh, let's see. Note you. You can decide with your partner how you decide with your partner how you want to organize your ideas and who will present what. Okay, so there are going to be a lot of decisions you're going to need to make as to the ideas and the information, the organization, uh, and and how and even which videos you're going to use to refer to get that information for your uh, presentation. You can use a PowerPoint. You can use a, a Sway presentation. Again, that's another, another decision that you can make with your, your partner. Performances, as I mentioned, will be scheduled for March 18th and March 21st of this year, 2022. All right, so that's basically it. Make sure you take a look at the standards, what's going to make a good performance. Uh, but it's basic. Uh, make sure that you have... Uh, you speak for at least four to five minutes individually. Each person, each one of you should speak uh, that long in total. Make sure your ideas are coherent and cohesive, that you're speaking clearly, that you have a good volume, that you're speaking close enough to your microphone so that you can easily be heard. Make sure you show yourself so you have a camera, a webcam, so that we can see you, both of you, and your presentation at the same time. Offer a lot of visuals in your presentation and not a lot of text. And again, make sure you argue for one country, but also try to share some comparisons, some compare and contrast, some similarities and differences between these two countries. And that's, that's it. Here is the list of the partner list for this week, for this project. Again, no speaking practice on Friday. We will have our TOEFL practice but I want to give you all week to work on this, this uh, project. And the last thing I'll say is that all of your recordings, all of your discussions, I should say, should be recorded in Microsoft Teams. All of your discussions that you have, even if you're face-to-face, -face, right, you can um, you know, record yourselves on your phone if you wish, and have those conversations uploaded, those files uploaded to your breakout rooms. But it's very important that this entire week, this entire project, 
that all of your conversations are done in English. Help each other with your English, working out these all these decisions. There's a lot of aspects here, a lot of discussions that need to be made that are very much part of this, this task, this experience. So we need to capture all of those in our recordings. Make sure you're reaching out to your partner. If for some reason your partner is absent one day, make sure that you're making an effort to contact the person. If you happen to be absent from class, make sure you're making an effort to find out what you need to do to complete the task and that you're working together throughout the week so that uh, that you uh, both complete the task on, on time. All right, this is going to be uh, where I stop. This will be our the overview for this. Of course, we'll talk about it as we need to in class, and I'm giving, I'll give you some time in class, of course, to work on this. But this is going to be our project for this week, week eight, cultural appreciation. And uh, this is what we'll be focusing on for uh, week eight. So we'll stop there, guys, and uh, we'll see you in class.